Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at how we can create a gRPC client and server in ASP.NET Core using the Visual Studio 2019. But obviously, before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So in this video, obviously, we will look at how we can create the server, we can create the gRPC client and we will basically test the gRPC client service with the, with the server service. So let's get to it then. So in gRPC, a client application can directly call a method on a server application on a different machines as if it were local objects, making it easier for you to create distributed application and services as in many RPC systems. So GPRC, GRPC sorry, is based around the idea of defining a service, specifying a method that can be called remotely with their parameters and return types. So on the server side, the server implements this interface and run a GRPC server to handle the client calls, which we will have a look into much more details. So on the client side, the client has a stub referred to as just a client in some languages to provide the same method as, as the server. So as you can see, I've actually got um, Visual Studio opened. This is the 2019 version, so obviously, and I've got the latest update as well. So let's go ahead and start with it. So we start by clicking on the create a new project. So we're going to create a gRPC service first. So we're basically going to create a server service. So we we'll click on this bit here and basically we can say gRPC service. So here you can actually select what framework is applicable to what you're doing. In this case, we're going to select the .NET Core. 3.1 then we're going to select the gRPC service as well so once we are done with this bit here then we can click on the create so as you can see here now we've got a very simple gRPC um, service created it's it's just um we're just gonna look into the um, the, the files or the folder the first we look at the grid.proto so this actually defines the greeting service definition so this sends the greetings and this is the request message containing the user's name and that is a response message containing the greetings right so we look we look much more into details but we, we first we're just gonna go ahead and create the client but we can do that by actually opening a new window a new visual studio window so here we can we're going to create a very we're going to create a console application .NET core console application so here we can say we can call it um, grpc client gRPC client so we can click on the create so we have the gRPC client created it is a, is a console application so we can say we're just going to write this bit here press any key to continue Then we're going to put console.readline here. So the next bit is, of course, we're going to um, go to manage new get package. So manage new get package. So we're going to install like about three packages to get us started. But before we actually do that, yeah, inside a client, we're going to add a new folder 
and we call this folder Protos. So we come inside this, the, the service bit here. So it, we've got another, we've got a folder called Protos inside the service. So here we've got grid.proto. So we're just going to copy this this one here. Then we come inside uh, the client. Then we put it inside the, 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 the folder that we've just created. So we come inside here. So this bit here, we've got G, um, grpc service. We will change it to reflect this namespace, which is grpc client. So instead of service, we're going to make it client. Yeah. So we come inside uh, the new get the browse. So we're going to add about three new get packages. So I'm just going to copy and paste the the packages. So you can actually you can actually type them yourself. So I'm going to paste it here. So the first bit is grpc.net.client, right? So it's just going to search it. So as you can see, that's the first result here. Yeah? So it's grpc, grpc.net.client. So we install that. So the next package is also a google.protobath. So that's the first bit. So we installed that one as well. So the next bit is uh, grpc tools. So that is also the first bit here. So we actually install it straight away. So now we're done with this bit here. So I'm just gonna remove this NuGet, then remove this proto as well. So here, inside uh, the client um, project, we will put this here. So I'm just gonna grab this bit here. We will put this inside the item groups. Yeah, so this item group is protobuf include. So here is the is a client, right? So the next bit is we come straight into the code. So here we will start by using this variable channel, and this will be grpc. GRPC channel. So this will actually be inside this namespace grpc.net.client. Then dot from address. So we're gonna. I'm gonna post this. I uh, paste this. I'm gonna paste the address here. So I just HTTPS localhost 5001. So the next bit is another variable called uh, the client that is equal to the new greeter. Okay, actually, before we do that, what, we, what needs to be done, I'm just gonna comment this bit. We have to actually build the project first. So once the build is succeeded, then we can add the new greater. Yeah, so the new greater dot greater client. So we pass in the channel. So the next bit is a variable called reply. 
this will be so here this method here we're going to make it async task so it's async task main yeah so we're going to import the system dot threading so here we can say await client dot say hello async so inside the say hello we can say new hello request so inside here put the name this will be equal to greater client yeah so the next bit is we can say console the right line greetings so we could say reply dot message So the last bit is, of course, we can say console of ally press any key to exit. console dot read line so this is it then so the next base of course we're just, just gonna minimize it we're gonna run the client first no, I mean the service first then the client next so we're just gonna wait so this is the service which is up and running and then I'm gonna run the client. So this is the client as well. So once I press enter, there should be a message being sent to the service. So enter. So as you can see, so We've actually got the message hello um, great I mean greater client so you could actually go on and change the messages but you're gonna have to uh, explore that further yourself so I'm just gonna leave it here and I hope you actually learn and once again if you haven't subscribed please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are peace